Now students, in the last video, we started our chapter that is lesson number 15, transport and communication. Right students? And in that we have discussed about the concept of transport. So students, can you tell me what is transport? Transport can be described as a system for carrying people or goods from one place to another. Right students? And also we discussed about the, that there are the different means of transport. Yes, people use a different means of transport to travel from one place to another. Right students? Now students, after watching this video, you will do an activity. As in the last video, I said that today we are going to do an the next video, we are going to do an activity. Okay? Students, first you will understand the concept of means of transport. Okay? Now, students, means of transport help the people to go from one place to another. Right? Students, we cannot use the same means of transport to go to the different place. Right? We use a different means of transport to go to the different place. Right? So students, the means of transport we choose depend upon how far and near are near the destination. Right? Destination means the place to go. Right? So it depends on that. And also it depends on money to spend for the travel. It depends on the people. Right students? So students, uh, means of transport can be divided into three parts. Right? That is land transport, water transport and air transport. So students, uh, you all know the transport which travel on land. Uh, that is known as land transport. So can you uh, tell me, can you give me example uh, which uh, means of transport travel on land? That is car, bus, train, motorcycle, cycle, etc. Understood students? So students, can you tell me which means of transport travel on water? That is ship and boat. Right? Now students, suppose your friend or relative lives in some other country. So students, which means of transport you will use to go to that place? You will use air transport. So this air transport is travel on air. Transport which travel on air that is known as air transport. Can you give me example which means of transport travel on air? That is aeroplane, helicopter, rocket etc. Okay students. So students today you will understand these three means of transport. You will understand the means of transport uh, which is divided into three parts that is land, water and air transport. So students we are going to discuss about this all three after that we will do an activity. Students first we will talk about the land transport. So students there is a large network of road in our country. Right? All important cities and towns are connected by road. Right students? Now students, uh, in the last, uh, in lesson number 5, we have discussed about the uh, Indian village. Right? And in that we discussed about the road in the village or mostly Kacha road. So students, in that road, which means of transport can be travelled? That is bullock cart, horse cart, tractor, etc. Right, students? So, mostly uh, in the village, there are the cut 
kachcha road so for this kachcha road mostly this means of transport is travel got understood students and students uh, you might be have seen the desert area right so which mostly which means of transport is used over there that is camel right students camel is camel is a means of transport which is mostly used in the desert and the camel is also called the sheep of the desert understood students now students if we talk about the forest so elephant are used to carry the loads in the forest so uh, which are uh, which are so what is used in the forest to carry loads that is elephant okay now students you might be have seen the mountain ranges right so in the mountain region sorry the mountain region mostly we use rope way you see here in the picture that you say trolley is used to travel understood students i hope till here you have understood about the land transport now students in cities we see mostly the roads are pakka roads right so in that pakka roads which means of transport is travel that is car bus truck motorcycle etc so these means of transport are travel in the pakka roads understood students and students we can go from one part to the other to the another place yes to go from far away place we generally use train or bus right to go away far away places we generally prefer to use bus or train understood students now students train are used for transporting both people and goods right students students you might be have seen the good trains you know what is good trains in the trains the in which the passengers are not allowed only the goods are transport from one place to another so goods such as food grain petroleum fruits and vegetables coal mineral etc so these product are transport from one place to another for this product good trains are used okay students i hope students you have understood the concept of land transport now we will move to the water transport okay students now students water transport is economically means of transport means this means of transport is cheapest means of transport where the less amount have to pay why because it does not require road or track do you know the for a uh, road it will require a lot of money to construct the road and track but in water there is no such there is there is not a connected a road or track right it does not require road or track so water transport is the cheapest means of transport right students now students water transport is generally used to transport bulky and heavy goods you see here in the image this water transport is generally used to transport bulky and heavy goods right so the sheep used for transporting goods like is called cargo ship so this cargo ship helps to transport goods from one place to another from one country to another so students i hope you have understood the concept of cargo ship cargo ship means where the goods are transport from one place to another understood student now beside 
transporting of good sheep are also used for travelling you might be have seen the sheep are also used for travelling and that sheep is known as cruise see here in the image where people they travel through this sheep understood students now students in the past in the past mostly the boats were an important means of transport because most of the town and cities were located on the bank of river so mostly in the past people used boat to travel from one place to another understood students about water transport that water transport is the cheapest means of transport as this transport does not require road or track understood students and also what we discuss about water transport that this water transport is used for transport bulky and heavy goods and that transport is known as cargo ship which carry bulky and heavy goods to transport from one place to another understood i hope students you have understood about the water transport okay now we are going to discuss about the air transport as you all know air transport is the fastest means of transport we reach some other place in very less time right if you want to reach your friend or relative who is living out of the country we use aeroplane to travel to that place right student so aeroplane and helicopters are the means of transport which travel on air so students our country has good network of airway too right students all major cities have airport airport air transport is helpful during calamities and natural disaster like earthquake and students you might be have seen when the calamities occur like earthquake and flood so this air transport is very very useful to reach that place right you might be have seen the helicopter were used to go to that place and to give to people food and clothes if the in that place the calamities occur like flood and earthquake right understood students i hope students you have understood all these three concept that is land transport water transport and air transport now students you will do an activity so what activity you are going to do today you will make three column like land transport water transport and air transport so what you are going to do for you will stick the picture transport means of transport which travel on land at least you have to stick five or six picture and means of transport which travel on water you have to stick the picture and also means of transport which travel on air you have to stay here okay i hope you will complete today's activity and you will send me to my personal number okay students after completing activity read the textbook and underline the new words okay